what did you learn watching the uh, watching the first game? What did you pick up on? Oh, I think uh, you know our press is very important, but I think just from compared to the first half and the second half, uh, the grit that RSL always brings every game, uh, the fight even when down one zero, we find a way to win, and I feel like that's something that we've uh, done a lot recently, and even in the playoffs. Um, you know, when we're down, we'll find a way to win. So I think that was something uh, to take from the game, the first game of the season. What did it mean to the group to see Dami score a game winner with all he's been through in the last year? Oh, it's everything. You know, Dami's a great human being. Um, most importantly, he's, he's a friend. Uh, he's a teammate. Um, and he's just a very uh, loved guy on the team. So to see him and, you know, get that goal, especially everything he's been through, and um, it's just great. It's great to have him back. Uh, you know, he's a great leader, so... Did you watch the Sounders play the Rapids in the season opener? And if so, what did you think? Uh, I did not watch the game, no. Unfortunately, I did not watch the game. So, okay. The uh, RSL has rivalries to one degree or another, Colorado, Portland, and Seattle because of the playoff games, sporting Kansas City for a long time. Is there any one of those that jumps out to you? Is any one of them the atmosphere more fiery than the other? Uh, I think Colorado. I mean, obviously, it's you know both teams with the uh, – you know, with uh, the elevation and always going over there and playing those games uh, feels like a great rivalry. So, um, you know, I think Colorado is, is that team that we always want to beat every every year. Have things cooled off with Seattle now that you've played Freddie a few times? You yeah, yeah, for sure. Albert. Yeah, I mean, I've, you know, Freddie, Freddie brought me to the team, so I always uh, love to see him and stuff like that. So, obviously, with Albert, uh, he was a great teammate as well. So, it's always good to see their faces, but I don't think there's, like, that kind of, um, you know, that rivalry anymore that, you know, maybe they left. You know, RSL now is kind of, we move on. It's been, you know, almost a year over a year and stuff like that. So kind of kind of let it go. 2021, obviously, you, you came on, and I don't know if the fan base knew what to expect out of you, and you had yeah. a really good year. 2022 was obviously pretty frustrating. Yeah. How do you feel now? What do you feel? How do you feel physically now, yeah. I guess, first? Oh, I'm in the best shape of my life. Kind of feel like I'm back where I wanted to be in, like, 2021 season. I think that's the most important thing. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like I said, last year I came into preseason – had surgery a week before preseason, missed all of preseason, kind of struggled to, um, you know, find that uh, that confidence, maybe just because I wasn't playing games, had to come into games and stuff like that. But towards the end of the season, uh, Pablo relied on me, believed in me, and got my first goal of the season, the last game of the, of the, of the, of the MLS regular season, and, you know, started in the playoffs. Uh, kind of want to bring that back. I made sure to take care of my body this offseason, the last two months, making sure I was eating well, making sure I was taking care of, making sure I was training. And, you know, now I'm fit, so um, I think that's very important. Do you understand what Pablo wants out of the press now in a way you didn't, I don't know, six months ago, 12 months ago? Yeah, uh, every, every day, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, a lot of work, but um, it's very important to the team, especially the way, especially the way we want to play, the way, especially the way we want to defend when the ball high up the field and get closer to goal. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, compared to six months, I've grown a lot. Um, I think also with my fitness, now I'm much more uh, in a better shape than I was six months ago. So it helps me also be able to have better presses, be able to get to the ball faster and stuff like that. So He's, He won't get into the details with us for obvious reasons, but he talks about how detailed it is. There's really specific things he wants you guys to watch for. Yeah. He wants all 10 guys to see the same thing at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking that's if you're only playing sporadically and you're not fit, that's pretty hard to get your arms around. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like I said, last year it was, you know, I was constantly battling fit, uh, my fitness and trying to get back in, in, into shape and stuff like that. On top of that, trying to, you know, learn what he wanted to do with the, with the, with the strikers, the, the, the wingers, the high press intensity and stuff like that, winning the ball high up the field and stuff like that. So now I made sure to, you know, come back and be in, you know, better shape. And uh, from preseason, from day one, I've been there and been working my butt off, so. Was there anything about your team this weekend that surprised you, or was it kind of like, oh, we knew that we could do this? Oh, I knew we could do it. It was crazy because the first half I thought, you know, it was tough for us. We had a lot of uh, silly mistakes uh, from our midfield, from our back line. I remember Jay Glad telling me that, you know, maybe that was his worst game of his life, but, you know, he found a way to score the most important goal to get us back into the game. So just kind of that grit that we have um, to never give up, to keep fighting. Um, going into the second half, we played way better than we did in the first half, and just shows, you know, even when the, our backs are against the wall, we find a way to win, which is more important. And what is it that you like most about this group of guys, this team, right now? I think just 
we have a great locker room. We have a bunch of good guys, and um, we get re along with each other, always joking around and stuff like that. But when it comes to, you know, turning it on and, you know, getting on the field and taking care of business, uh, the team is working hard. And I think that's also something that RSL has. We don't rely on just talent, if that's the right answer. We rely on hard work, all 11 of us, all 20 of us coming off the bench. And I think that's the most important thing is, you know, that goes a long way, uh, hard work, and um, the team works hard throughout 90 minutes. So, um, How hard is it to start your season on the road at Vancouver, then on the road against someone like Seattle? Um, does that kind of fuel the fire because of that, the, those road wins? Or, um, yeah, just take me through how hard it is for you guys, or does it keep you going? Uh, it keeps it going. I think the last uh, three years that I've been here, we won our first uh, road game, uh, Minnesota, and then last year and then this year. So it just shows that the team can get it done on the road, um, which, is, which is huge, you know, because it's not easy to win uh, on the road. And obviously we, we take care of business at home and we should be in a good position. Thank you. Rubio, you were serving that uh, red card suspension, obviously, against Vancouver. So instead you watched the game at a, at a, at a watch party. Yeah. What was that experience for you like watching with a group of fans? Oh, it was fun. Uh, a lot of great people got to uh, hang out with the fans and kind of see how they celebrate. Uh, you know the goals. The last two years, I've you know been never been to a watch party, so it's cool to see that. Cool to see like just the atmosphere that the RSL fan base has, and you know they're always there, cheering us on, which is which is huge for us, especially uh, um, on the road. And obviously coming back home, uh, we always get the right support. So you're from the Northwest. Any chance we see a uh, Rubin family contingent uh, amongst <laughs> the fans on Saturday? Yeah, yeah, for sure. There'll be uh, my father and my mother will be down there, so I'm looking forward to seeing them. The atmosphere was obviously a lot of fun there at, at Kai and everything, but how tough was it to have to, have to sit this one out with the season opener coming off of the offseason, kind of building up the, the hype within the team, that sort of thing? Was it a little bit tough for you? Yeah, I think it was tough. I mean, it was kind of annoying uh, just because of all the preseason. You know, you kind of, you're, you're, you're not with the starting team or you're not trying, you, you can't really fight to get in the starting team just because, you know, you, you're out the game regardless, you know what I mean? So that was tough, obviously six, seven weeks and having to be on the outs um, and having to constantly, you know, work yourself but not really getting to be with, you know, the starting group. But at the end of the day, it's the reality. I try not to, you know, think about it and, uh, you know, just support my team, my team, which is the most important thing. I was there and um, just cheering on the boys and, you know, we got three points, which is uh, something that I'm looking forward to doing in Seattle and helping the team win as well. Be a little extra ready for Seattle. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Yeah.